What's going on? What's happening, FratCon? Max Forte heading out to work again. You know how this works. This is my scent of the day slash impressions of a fragrance, brand new in the market. Uh, there's a couple of videos out there, but I'm gonna give you guys my take on it. Uh, this is the, what I'm hoping it is. It's the brand new release from Mugler or Terry Mugler, uh, Kryptonite. No, not Kryptonite. That's from Superman. Kryptonite. Uh, so I have a package here. It was sent to me by my good friend Jacob Hernandez. I'm going to have his information down a link below. Hit him up on Facebook if you're looking for any kind of new fragrance releases, splits. He's a really cool guy. I'm giving him a shout out. He asked me to do that. So thank you so much, Jacob, for hooking me up with this. Let me open the box. It's actually right here. So I'm going to uh, rip it open and give you guys my first take on camera, and then I'll meet you back here when I come back from work to tell you exactly what Crypto Mint gave me. Uh, even though I think Mint, I'm thinking about Ultra Zest from last year or a couple years ago, I'm thinking that this fragrance will um, evoke something more of a warmer season, but even though it has the DNA of Terry Mugler in the background, I think it's gonna be okay for today, which is about 45, 50 degrees here. We've been hit with a lot of snow over the past couple of weeks, it's getting a little better. I can sense spring is coming. It's right around the corner. So let me crack this up enough babbling, give you guys my first take on it. All right, so here's the box. It's actually brand new. Um, it's still wrapped. I'm going to unwrap it and give you guys my first take on it. Crypto Mint from the line of A-Man. It's another flanker. It's an older toilet. Let's see what we got out of this bad boy. All right, so I cracked the box open. Uh, really cool picture of the actual bottle in the background. Almost like a frosty thing going on. Um, it's like, um, almost like a light teal, um, you know, bluish green kind of kind of box. Really cool, uh, kind of like Ultra Zest, but instead of the tangerine orange uh, theme, they went with this um, light green kind of theme and you get the Mugler circle thing here, which you, you know, can go online and, and you know, just put your information in to get news and what have you, uh, discounts and whatnot. So here is the bottle. Again, really cool. I'm gonna get myself a mist. All right, first off, you get a real beautiful blast of mint. That's what's really, you know, maybe some geranium, really beautiful blast, but you do sense the amen in the background, so I think it's gonna be real nice for today. So let me give myself a few more blasts. And I will see you guys later at my chessboard to give you guys my full impression on Crypto Mint. I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for sticking around for the full rendition or full review of this newest release, this flanker from the Mugler House, uh, Amen Crypto Mint. Uh, so this is an Oriental Fougere fragrance, and the composition was. Um, made uh, from a really, really renowned perfumer, Jacques Euclier. And the notes here are pretty much mint, geranium, uh, patchouli, and tonka bean. That's what's listed. So you do get a very strong blast of mint uh, that's really invigorating and really beautiful up top. And I guess that's why they went for the crypto mint, uh, you know, strong mint type of name. Then you're gonna get this really nice French geranium, uh, which will give the composition a very airy uh, and really um, really uplifting uh, feel to it, which is really cool. And lastly, you're gonna get the patchouli and the tonka bean as it dries down, which will give this a semi-amen kind of vibe, but I'm gonna get to the point uh, later on here and let you know exactly what I get out of this as it gets to the heart and to the dry down. Let's get into the scent. This is a creamy take on mint. Uh, it's like a, you know, a flanker of the ultra zest kind of family. You get a ton of mint up top, which is really nice. And as it gets to the heart, like I said, this reminds me of this fragrance right here, Paco Rabanne's Excess, uh, which is a very sexy, sensual, pleasant, and very nice composition. So very pleasant, with, you know, I'm very pleased with this fragrance because um, it reminds me of Black XS, but again, it's not a mind-blowing release, you know, uh, at least not to me, but a great scent to wear in the spring or even in the summertime. I think this is not strong enough for the heavy winters that I get here in the East Coast, uh, you know, New England to be exact, or if you have colder weather, I don't think this will sustain uh, the cool. I think it's going to be um, very hard to detect. Anyway, let's get into the performance now. 
I got about six, six to seven hours, but average about six hours longevity with this. Projection was uh, two to three hours, and then it got really close to the skin. Uh, you know, you had to get really close to me to be able to get whiffs. The silage is very moderate as well. Uh, you could spray heavy on this one. I, I think that uh, if you wanted to reapply, you know, no problem at all. This here is not going to be uh, one of those, uh, or have the potential to be cloning. This one here, not the case at all. I do see this, uh, you know, in a more casual setting or even in office wear, but in a warmer weather and, uh, you know, warmer days. And I think anyone can wear this. This is definitely androgynous. Definitely, you know, a guy or a gal can pull this off. No problem. Um, let's get into the final take, you know, of this composition. Again, I think this is not the most unique of the flankers or one of my favorite flankers at all. But again, very easy to wear, very easy to please, very pleasant uh, and overall great composition. Uh, so it's, it's a very good release. I wanted to see, you know, a little bit more daring, you know, flankers from the A-Man line or even like a total different um, line or a brand new fragrance from for, for A-Man. I think us frag heads are really, you know, uh, longing for a just, you know, off the cuff or daring or you know break the mold kind of fragrance from a man i mean you know they're due to do something like that hopefully they'll do it in the future or in a you know near future but all in all a, a pretty good release from the house of a man you know crypto mint so that's it that's all i have for you today just wanted to give you a quick um you know scent of the day review impression type of thing that i've been doing for you guys since last year hope you like this format let me know and when I do a more broad, full review on fragrances, I'll get into the, you know, the rating, which I don't do here. Uh, but again, all in all, this is a really, really good release. So keep it tuned in. Um, a lot more fragrant content coming your way, collaborations, giveaways. In the meantime, you know what to do. Keep on spraying, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.